So I've managed to get through four stages. Three to go, not two, just by what it looks like. There is a Dr. Wily style final stage. That's pretty damn hard. All the remaining stages are hard now. Doesn't really matter, you could do the harder stages first, there's no benefit, it's not like you get better power-ups, you don't. You get the same power-ups either way. I just did it that way for continuity's sake, I guess, I don't know. I'm gonna go with my triple B uh, power-up. I don't know how I took a hit there. This level's not very long, but you get pretty much no help once you get to the second part. You gotta just get through that damn thing. The boss is, a, is very easy, though. All the bosses are easy, except for two of them. Three of them, I guess, if you include the last boss. Last boss is actually really easy if you know a cheap way to kill him, which I do. Otherwise, he's really hard. You can also uh, get the uh, invincibility here for the boss, but it's a little tricky because you got to rig it. Hey, that jerk hit my robot. Looks like Chuck Norris in a bodysuit. I don't even know what he's about. Like, who is this guy? He's got the same head every time. I never get that in games. Like, they'll have multiple enemies. Like, the generic henchman I get, but that's like a guy with, like, the same head. Like, is it a clone? Why does he have the same head? I mean, I know why, because it's a sprite, but... Not a sprite as in the drink, but as in like a picture sprite drawing. I don't know. This is annoying because, uh, it's annoying. The ice. This, the, this part is easy. This part is a pain. I lost my power up too. What you actually want to do is you want to, um, just punch once and wait. You don't want to get too close, though, so it's kind of... Once you know what to do, it's not too bad. There is an extra life on this level, but I'm probably not going to be able to get it because it costs $2,000. $2,000 or coins or yen or whatever the hell it's supposed to be. I don't even know, man. I think that octopus sprite is really cool looking. This is kind of a secret here, because it's to the left. It's like a little, uh, power bonus. You gotta deal with a lot of crap down here, and it's all annoying. If you can get to the end without taking a hit, it really helps with the boss, because otherwise you're gonna die, and then you'll have to start the boss with no robot, and that'll just be annoying, man. But that's why they give you the extra life that you can't afford, so. Oh, now maybe I can. Nope, missing $50 still. Even if I have it, I'm not going to spend on that. I don't want the extra life. I just want to get to the boss in one piece. And it's not working out for me. I've only taken two hits so far, so I might be able to get there. I'm gonna get the invincibility in a second, but I don't wanna... Oh, damn it. I did not wanna do that. This... that... 
enemy for no apparent reason has a different attack. I don't know why. Now my robot's gonna die, so I have to be real careful here. If there's a power up in there, oh good. Now I'm gonna waste the hell out of the boss. You see, if you know this little trick, and it's not really a trick, it's like a fundamental part of the gameplay since it's very easy to figure out. You can just waste pretty much every boss like this. Damn, he's got a lot of health. And plus your robot gets all its health back too. He actually, I think, might have more health than the final boss. Although it might be just that he's in the air and you have to jump and there's a time for jumping. But the last boss, you can just pound him in the corner and pummel him if you get the invincibility. But hey, that's pretty... Well, I, I completed that pretty smooth, I think.